Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, greetings from me My name is Muhammad Abdul Haq I'm from Polytechnic Electronica Negeri Surabaya Here, in the first conference on Internet of Things and Embedded Intelligence or CTE 2020 I will present my paper titled Improving the Speed of Ball Detection Process and obstacle detection process in aerosol robot using omnidirectional vision based on robot operating system. Okay, before go, we go start further, this is my presentation outline. There are introduction, the problems, limitation, and purpose, air source condition now, and the flowchart, and how I improve the speed process, and the last is reference, and then conclusion. This is the introduction. This research delivers a novel approach for improving the computation speed of the pole detection and obstacle. The speed condition of obstacle detection and pole detection in our robot still have a slow processing speed. This condition makes the robot not real-time, and the robot's movement is hampered. To build a good word model, things to note are obstacle information and real-time pole detection. The focus of this research is to increase the speed of the process of the pole and obstacle detection around the robot. To increase the speed, it's necessary to optimize the use of the OpenCV library, boost library, and implementing ROS. And then minimize the use of too many frames. This information will be sent to the base station and also for obstacle avoidance purpose. <coughs> Okay, we have three problems before we go. The first is how can robot detect ball and obstacle at high processing speed, and how to integrate the ball and obstacle detection program into ROS. And the last is how to send ball and obstacle information to the base station. We have two limitations. The first is the sensor used in this research is camera with omnidirectional, and the second is this system using ROS. The purpose of my research is robot software can do the ball and obstacle detection at high processing speed and the ball and obstacle detection can run using ROS and the robot can send ball and obstacle information to the base station. Before I go to the result, this is the air source condition before I did the research. This is program running and the process width of Omni is obstacle is 67 and 42 in full. This is millisecond. Okay. We have a flow chart. The first is input. We have input omnidirectional camera and then I processing it with the threshold thing and the other method and the output is x and y and theta of the ball and of cycle and this is the tools and environment for my research the first is laptop and omnidirectional camera this is the camera view and also the robot and the field the processor used in this laptop is intel core i5 and ram is 8 gigabytes and we use NVIDIA in VGA and we use SSD and we run using Linux Ubuntu 16 and the ROS version is kinetic. So this is the ROS topic picture in my research. We have some program but we focus in this Omni Ball and Omni Obstacle. This is ball detection program and this is obstacle detection program and this is the input of the program we have omni camera as an input and then processing it and add with odometry and then send into the base station so this is how i improve the speed process <coughs> this is a picture of how my robot to the pole detection and obstacle detection and how I improve it in the first is pole detection I simplifying the processing using ROS so the program is break into some program 
so the program can 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 maximizing the speed and then maximize the use of region of interest and then optimizing the frame and then how I improve the obstacle detection the first is simplifying process using robot operating system I create into some program and then maximize the use of region of interest and then is inverted counter we can see the picture in the center we can see the black this is the obstacle and then I inverted it so it just using one one line to run this inverted contour and the last is optimizing the frame so this is the the result but the program is showing the frame so the speed is still slow the process speed is 52 it indicates that the improving of process speed at pole detection is in in pole detection is still good okay next this is the program of obstacle detection we can see the obstacle detection is still good after I improving the speed process okay this is the final result of my research <coughs> I have using Rust and this is the result we got 17 in 17 millisecond in pole detection and then 23 millisecond in obstacle detection I think this is the good progress for our robot so the robot can to the obstacle detection and pole tracking very well so this is the graphic of increasing speed by progress I using rust and maximizing region of interest and frame optimizing and this is the graph of increasing speed of obstacle detection program So the conclusion is based on the result of tests and analysis that have been done it can be concluded that the speed of the process of the testing ball which was previously 42 millisecond earlier become faster this is 17 millisecond or 16 millisecond and then the speed of process of detection obstacle detection which was previously 67 millisecond become faster that is 25 or 23 millisecond we can see before and the program is successfully applied in Erso robot using robot operating system and information from the base station oh, I'm sorry information from the pole and obstacle detection can be sent to the base station so this is uh, the reference when I did the research but not just seven there are 27 or 28 I think. okay that's all of my presentation thank you from me Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh